Hey, my name is Kaya and I'm originally Polish, but I grew up in Denmark. And for the last couple of years, I've been living in Shanghai, Paris and Bangkok and basically constantly moving around. And a couple of months back, I've decided that I really want to see what is it like to live in Poland again. So I got a job and I moved to Warsaw after living abroad for almost 15 years. I basically felt like I was losing touch with what Poland really was. And this is the very first week in my life vlog after I moved to Poland. In this vlog, you can expect to see a lot of confusion. I have these days where I'm like pretty happy about life, but then I have these days or like these moments where I'm just like, why am I even here? Some household related tips and advice. I'm gonna show you the state of my fridge. Not existing. And some pretty sunny shots of Warsaw. So I just moved in to my new apartment and my life is a literally one big mess right now. Like literally one big mess. Look at this. Look at this. My whole life is basically on this floor in three suitcases. I moved in here yesterday night and today it's Monday so I had to go to work and I just came home. I had Subway for dinner which is so bad. But the reason why I had to, I simply had to eat Subway is because I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the stage of my fridge non-existing i would also show you the stage of my bathroom but that would be kind of weird basically i don't even have toilet paper i literally don't have anything here but but first thing first there is one thing that is more important than food and toilet paper and that is the internet i don't even have internet in here which is very bad it's a critical situation so i'm gonna run now i'm not like literally run i'm gonna walk because i'm kind of tired i'm gonna walk to a shopping mall to try to get internet i don't know if that's like where you get internet i mean yeah i guess whatever uh, i really need it fast like i need it now, living without internet is not fun. It's even less fun than living without toilet paper. Came to the shopping mall to set up internet to do some real deal adulting because I do need internet to be a YouTuber. And then it turned out that it is much harder than I thought to set up internet here in Poland because you need to sign a deal for like two years or at least one year and even the one year deal was really expensive or like way more expensive than I thought it would be. Um, what did I do? I did what every real adult would do. I called my dad. Adulting not going great so far. Uh, now I can truly live. Hi guys, I am back. I am completely smashed, like literally smashed, aka tired if you don't know what I mean by saying smashed. I just came back home from work. I was in a pretty good mood and then the song came up that reminded me of Bangkok. Look at these hotties and now I'm just so upset and I'm feeling so nostalgic and sad. Oh my god. Hello. And it's just so, you know, I literally should freaking like, what did I do with my necklace? Okay, I took it off. I should like literally delete all songs that remind me of Bangkok. <laughs> From my phone because it just puts me in such a bad mood because I'm thinking back about all these good times I had there about a life that is not coming back and that's the worst thing, you know? Look what Florentine just found. And David on the palm tree. What is it? Are you kidding? Of course it's a palm tree. And it's like obviously Bangkok is still there and I can still go back to Bangkok. I will probably at some point in my life. But this life I had there is never coming back because life is about people and people who are my Bangkok are like literally gone. They're not even in Bangkok anymore. They're like all over. That's the sad truth about moving, moving around to different countries, living in different cities. You end up creating those lives and then you leave and people that you meet are most of the time sort of living a similar lifestyle to you. So they leave as well 
and your whole life is just like gone and it's like not coming back and it's impossible to get it back you know even if you move back to this place anyways what I'm planning to do today is um, I was also planning to clean my apartment because this is the current situation didn't get much better It probably got much worse because my dad brought me some stuff, which is nice though Oh my god, I'm gonna show you something funny. My grandma gave me this and when I saw it I was like, oh my god, it's whiskey which would be really weird because why would my grandma give me whiskey? But it turned out it's it's maple syrup. We're gonna go should I put you on a jar of cucumbers? Cucumbers are like my favorite thing about Poland. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. We're gonna go to Hala Milowska. I'm not sure if that's the name. Props, something like that. And it's like a cool market where you can get like vegetables and flowers. And I'm actually not sure because I don't know if I've ever, ever been there. But it looks really cool from outside. So I'm gonna go there because I need a pot for my plant. I bought plants yesterday. That's the plant. Hey. That's good. When I come home after work, I really want to do things. I want to vlog, I want to edit, I want to write my book. But then I'm just so tired, I have a really hard time like, doing anything and... I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm constantly failing at life because... I am freaking tired and I don't get done as much as I wish I would get done but I just really hope that as soon as I settle into my new apartment it will get a little easier I mean it will for sure get easier because the first like two three weeks I spent here every freaking day after work almost every day okay I was going to see apartments and then when I got my apartment you know like it takes time, you need to buy shit. Like yesterday, I just came from work, I ate pizza, and then I went to Ikea. And that was it, that was my day. So I really hope it will get a little easier now when I will finally settle down. But also, it requires me actually settling down, which has not been going that well so far because my shit is still all over the floor. I don't think they have pots. I don't want to go to Ikea again. <laughs> so for some reason I thought that this is like this trendy place like Halakushiki uh, but I guess it's not. It. I think it's more of a grandma place to be honest. You know how I came to Hala Milovska, Milova, Milovska, I don't know. You know how I came here and I said that it looks super old school? Well, but I didn't go into this part of the building and this part of the building looks super modern and it's really cool. It's basically like a place with whole lots of different restaurants and like all kind of different cuisines from different parts of the world. So that's super cool. You know what, the longer I'm here, the more I'm liking this place. It's actually kind of interesting. It really feels so old school. I feel like I went like, I don't know how many years. 30 years, back in time or something, you know? They definitely don't have flower pots though. I don't know why I even thought they might have flower pots. To be honest, I thought market flowers pots. That was my thinking process. I don't like this place. If I would do a photo shoot, I don't know for sure, photo shoot for what? Photo shoot for my Instagram, okay? I would come here. What I actually really enjoy about big cities is those places where you have this huge contrast because we're in the center of Warsaw right now. And if you walk, like literally, I'm not exaggerating, three minutes from here, you're gonna be like among all these like huge skyscrapers and like you're basically in the most modern part of the city. But if you literally walk like three minutes down the road, you're gonna be here. And it's like, oh my God, maybe they have pots. I must find pots. No. Thing. It's like cooking supply. Since you saw me last time, I already managed to have a mini breakdown. <laughs> That's actually not really funny. You know, I have these days where I'm like pretty happy about life and about being here, but then I have these days or like these moments where I'm just like, why am I even here? Since I got here, my mood has basically been up and down. Sometimes I am kind of happy. Sometimes I'm not. Um, as I told you before, I do miss my old life. I do miss my friends. I do miss going to school and having all this, all this freedom and all that. Um, but I'm trying to like tell myself that it's very normal and obvious that I miss that because I had a freaking good life. And obviously I do understand that I should just be freaking grateful that I had this incredible life and that this even happened. and. 
you know, that I could study something, I was really happy about that. I had so many friends that I traveled so much, like my life was freaking amazing. Um. Good morning guys, so welcome to another day in Bangkok. We're heading to Klong Toy Market. I like how I was yellow and then all of a sudden I just turned red. Also, I pretty much have this issue whenever I move somewhere new, which is basically every half a year, so I have this issue like all the time. Every time I move somewhere new, okay, wait a sec, because I'm going from like yellow to red to blue now. I have this issue whenever I move, I really want to settle down and sort of like get my life together, like pull my life together as quickly as I can. And sometimes it's just impossible, you know, you obviously... Whether you go to school or you go to work, you have responsibilities and after you're done doing your responsibilities, you might be tired or you want to eat or you want to do whatever. And I think sometimes it's just like really important to chill the fuck down and be like, you know, my life is a mess right now, but I will slowly get there. I think sometimes maybe it's like important to be a little nicer to yourself and just be like, you know what, we're gonna get there but we're gonna do it slowly. Like you don't have to do it all in one day. Good morning, it is a Sunday and it just freaking poured from the heaven, meaning it just rained. So the rain just like destroyed my plans because I was about to head out to work a little in a cafe nearby. Anyways, it is 2 p.m. So I was just about to have my last cup of coffee of the day. <sighs> The last cup is always so sad to me because I freaking love coffee, but I have an issue or not really an issue with coffee, but an, an issue that coffee is causing, meaning issue of sleeping, which is probably a result of my coffee consumptions. Yesterday I considered going out, but it never happened because I was so tired. So I just went to a supermarket. I bought shit tons of food for myself. And then I just watched a movie in bed and ate food. So that was actually really nice. I really needed some time by myself. I'm sort of like this weird person, or I don't know if it's weird actually, but I can never decide if I'm an introvert or an extrovert. Not that I really need to decide, but you know. Sometimes I'm like walking on the street thinking about it and I honestly feel like I'm a mix of both I'm not an introvert and I'm not an extrovert. I'm like sometimes I'm this and sometimes I'm that Like I get energy from being around people But I also get energy from being by myself and today I woke up and I was like, okay, you know I have no plans. It's Sunday. Should I like call someone or should I you know Like get a coffee with a friend or something and then I was like, you know what? I actually want to be by myself. I haven't had a day by myself myself for so long so that's why I decided today I am not calling anyone I'm I'm just I'm just gonna be by myself and I'm just gonna enjoy my own company 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 which I actually really like I like being by myself in a minute when the freaking rain will stop I will head out and get a coffee at Platz Krzybowski, I think I'm gonna do because I really like this square. It's one of my favorite places. I'm gonna show you, it's really cute. Um, yeah, and work a little, probably write and yeah, maybe do some journaling and stuff like that. I haven't been doing that almost at all since I came here, so. Also, my apartment is like really coming together. My mom bought me this nice pot and this nice pillow and a blanket and stuff like that. One thing I want to say though is that getting all these things to like decorate my apartment um, is really nice but at the same time it really freaks the shit out of me. It really makes me like a little anxious to be honest because I am afraid of settling down too much. I'm afraid that getting too much stuff will sort of tie me down here. So it's like a constant battle in my mind because on one hand, I'm like, okay, you know, I move here, I'm gonna be here for a while. Uh, I wanna have frames, I wanna have flowers in my apartment. Those stuff I'm getting are very like, you know, cheap and they're not like 
anything extraordinary i'm not like buying actual furniture i mean i bought a nightstand from ikea but it was like 10 euro during the last couple of years i basically lived without all these stuff if you understand what i mean wherever i lived of course i would always buy or bring some necessary stuff like you need a what do you need you need a plate but i would freaking in paris i owned like three plates you know <laughs> and that was it um I didn't own any flowers. I had two picture frames with me that I would just bring, you know? I brought them to Bangkok, I brought them to Shanghai, then I took them home. Um, so just all of a sudden getting all these stuff that I know are not necessary because for years I lived without them. Uh, it makes me a little anxious because I'm still young, I'm 25 or it doesn't really matter about, it's not about the age, you know, I don't, I don't think it's about the age, I think it's about your mindset uh, and your attitude and what you want from life. And right now, what I want from my life is not to settle down, I don't want that, I, I still want to live in different places and I sort of see my life as an adventure, you know, and right now the adventure is living here in Warsaw, but sooner or later it's gonna be another place i know it will because i mean you never know you never know right what life will bring it's still freaking sunny i still cannot see anything but anyways it was a really good idea to come here because i was actually pretty productive i was writing my book i am trying to write a book or i'm not really trying i did write a book but i mean i don't know if i can call it a book because obviously it has not been published or anything but i'm almost done with it i have 20 slash 30 pages left to edit and then i'm done with it and i'm gonna try to publish it anyways thank you so much for watching this vlog if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and um yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye.